So this is the tree doodler. It's a 3D printing pen. Cost about 400 ringgit, but a normal industrialized 3D printer would cost at least about 5,000 US dollars. See, 3D printing is actually called additive manufacturing, but that's not really sexy. 3D printing is sexy. And the first 3D printer was invented way back in 1983 by a guy named Chuck Hull. And the first object he created was a small tiny cup that was used as an eye wash. So far, 3D printing has the potential to revolutionize the world. We have seen its advancements in stuff like medicine, food, and fashion, and a whole lot more. For example, giant 3D printers in China were able to print 10 houses in a day and each of them just cost less than 5,000 US dollars. Today, scientists are using this same technology to create body parts or organs. Then there are 3D hobbyists who are creating food using 3D printer, just like Fudini, that 3D food printer. With that kind of power comes great responsibility. Recently in Japan, a man got arrested for owning five 3D printed guns, two of which could actually fire real bullets. That begs the question of how far 3D printing should be allowed. And then there's the issue of 3D printing eliminating at least two stages of production line, resulting in unemployment and affecting economic growth. See, it's only a matter of time before you don't need that handyman to come into your house and fix that broken pipe. With the advancements of 3D printing, you will soon be able to print yourself any parts you would like to replace. And even if you don't have a 3D printer, you will soon see local fabricator stores just popping up all around your neighborhood just like 7-Elevens. 3D printing moves us away from the Henry Ford era of mass production lines and brings us to a new reality of customizable one-off production. Just how big 3D printing will be in the future? According to Forbes, 3D printing will hit at least 3.1 billion US dollars by 2016 and 5.2 billion US dollars by 2020. Finally, the power is truly in the consumer's hands. So industrialists out there, 3D printing is here to stay.